those of you that are new to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how I put together my kids school lunches. It's really simple and really economical as well. Pretty simple I just usually every week we'll pick three things or three themes for their lunches and then we'll just cycle that for the week and they're fine these containers I just got on Amazon and I will link where I got these containers as well as give you guys the link for these little I think they're just silicone muffin cups but I will link those in the description box as well and in case you're wondering I don't get any money for this because I am not popular enough so all right as far as my kids having nut butters I don't eat nut butters they're too calorically dense and too high in fat for me but my kids do get to have almond butter peanut butter and they really love sunflower butter. We do also cycle in a little bit of the PB2, which is the powdered peanut butter. And if I'm ever gonna eat peanut butter, this is what I use because it's had 80% of the fat removed or more, 85% less fat than regular peanut butter. Um, but I just follow the recommendations of Dr. McDougall and Dr. Neil Barnard and they both say that children, especially really active children, you know, have higher calorie demands and it's okay for them to have more nuts and seeds and nut butters. And my kids are so stinking active as most children are. And we also live on property and they have chores and they just get too skinny if they don't have more calories in their life. The jelly I use is this crofters fruit spread. And I also like, oh, it's a French one. I can't remember what the name of it is, but they don't add you know, refined sugar, they just use fruit 
to sweeten it so I really like that but crofters has some that do have sugar so just pay attention make sure you get the one that doesn't have added sugar in it and that it's just sweetened with fruit so I like this for their jelly so a lot of people ask me are your kids 100% whole food plant-based no they are not I am not 100% whole food I am as whole food as possible but I still enjoy things like you know ketchup which isn't a whole you know it's got sugar in it blah blah, blah. so and the occasional treat my kids I want to say are like 85% whole food if not more but they do still enjoy crackers and bread and tortillas and things like that as do my husband I had a really bad weight problem and a lot of health issues so I eat as simple and clean and whole food as possible. But Dr. McDougall and Dr. Neil Barnard both say that tortillas and bread is okay for the general population. So I get my kids pretzels in their lunches and these just come from Whole Foods. They have very little, I pay attention, I try to keep the refined, or the refined, the oil as low as possible for them because it is of no benefit I don't watch the avocados or the nuts and seeds as much with them but the oil for sure so I try to get things that have little to no oil so like plain rice crackers they love and those have no oil and those are great and I enjoy those too and some hummus but these um, pretzels are like the lowest I could find in fat and they you can have 16 of them for half a gram of fat so to me that is okay for them and it makes their lunch more enjoyable and they feel more normal so they also really like these back to nature like Ritz style crackers so they get a couple of those in there I don't eat these these are higher in fat and I can't have gluten as much as I miss it I can't have it I wanted to show you guys these cans of organic baby corn pieces I don't know what is so magical about baby corn like little baby corn on the cob but my kids go nuts about these so I buy a ton of these and I put these in their lunches as well as another fun like vegetable just something for you guys to switch it up they're really tasty I really enjoy them now too that's how simple the lunches are again I will link those things the containers and organizers in the description box and share with me what you guys put in your kids' lunches because I'm like anybody else, I need inspiration and ideas as well. Just don't be sending me recipes for making my own crackers unless it's like stupid easy because you guys know me. I have worked hard to lower my family's expectations of me in the kitchen. So let's talk about breakfast. My kids, as much as I have tried to get them to develop a love and appreciation for oatmeal, they just do not love oatmeal. They tolerate it, but they don't enjoy it. So I have given in and decided that during the school week, they really enjoy having cereal. So I wanted it to be easy and something that they could get themselves, including my seven-year-old, because they have to be up and out of the house really early. So it needed to be quick and easy and something that they could do themselves, like I said already, <laughs> but I'm not gonna do another take. So cereal, I let them have cereal with just plain soy milk. So we like these Cinnamon Harvest by Kashi, these whole wheat ones, they are lower in sugar and really tasty they love those we of course love brown rice krispies and you can find these that have zero sugar and i love that and so they'll just slice up strawberries and bananas and throw that in their cereal and they love that and they're getting brown rice this mom mom's best cereals is low in sugar this one not all of them i did enjoy a lot of their cinnamon toast crunch in the beginning but this one is lower in sugar and it doesn't have any dairy because they know like the popular like Kellogg's brand does have dairy. So can't have that one. And then last but least, this one is like my new obsession. This is by Nature's Path. And I find this in Walmart down in town when we have to drive in to get groceries. But Colorado is really like natural food friendly. So I don't know, maybe you'll have to like, if you want to try this and can't find it, order it online. I don't know, but it is amazing. And this one's gluten free, so I can have this one. And it is so good. And again, it's lower in sugar, not sugar free, but lower in sugar. So with their cereal, 
every morning, they get to choose one muffin out of the freezer and if we feel up to it, we make a green smoothie. And I have their green smoothie bags already made in the freezer so my 12 year old can just throw everything into the blender, add water, and then he's made their green smoothies. And it's just pineapple, greens, banana, and a tablespoon of flaxseed. And this actually makes a lot. It makes enough for my two kids and my husband and I will put, you know, my recipe in the description box for this. But if I forget, just be like, yo, you forgot to do what you said you were gonna do again in the description box. And I'll do that. So the muffins I make are banana and they have chocolate zucchini because apparently I can grow zucchini really well in the garden and lemon poppy seed. And anytime I make muffins, I make like a triple batch and then freeze them. That way the kids can grab something easy during the week to have with their breakfast. It can just be a little bit more filling than just a bowl of cereal. Now, I do not have amazing muffin recipes that I came up with. I am not a baker. I have made a couple like really dense things that we don't mind, but I think other people would be like, eh, it's not really a muffin. So all I have done for these muffins is I Googled lemon poppy seed. I didn't Google vegan lemon poppy seed because vegan recipes get way too complicated. Too many like products and steps and it gets expensive. So I just Googled a plain old lemon poppy seed recipe and then I just switched some ingredients out. So where they call for eggs, I just use this Bob's Red Mill egg replacer. I love it. And I know in the back it says to like mix it to make the egg. I don't even do that guys. I just like, if it says it takes two eggs, well then two tablespoons of this goes in the dry mix. Like I don't, I can't be bothered making a separate egg mix. And when it calls for fat, whether it's like butter or oil, then I just replace that exact amount with the same amount of applesauce and it comes out perfect every time. Now as far as the sugar goes, I cut out the sugar and I sweeten it with two really ripe bananas and if that batter doesn't taste sweet enough, then I add a little bit of maple syrup. And there, they always come out great and it, you didn't have to go through all these steps and get all this vegan stuff other than like the egg replacer and you're good to go. But yeah, that is it. During the school week, they just have a bowl of cereal, a muffin from the freezer and then make their green smoothies and it's as simple as that. On the weekend, Saturday is pancake day. Sunday is where I get them because it's waffle day. And they love waffles, but they have no idea it's made completely up of oatmeal. So I have recipe videos for both the waffles and the pancakes, and they're super simple and really tasty. And I will link those in the description box below for you guys. So that's it for today, guys. Remember to keep it about health and keep life simple and joyful. Don't let the diet stuff completely weigh you down and steal your joy. Take it one day at a time, one meal at a time. Eat real simple food and you'll do great.